Okay, going to show you all there is, what's involved about setting up a well, pulling into a job site here. This is another ideal setup. Uh, having the water truck on the, on the driver's side of the rig is uh, not a priority, but it's a, it's a pretty good place to have it. If something happens and the well does go deep, we can access drill rods from this side of the, of the drill rig. So you see we're going to go to another site here quickly. Uh, I actually have a camera strapped to me. I'm going to go through everything that's involved. Uh, once we get the trucks on site, what all is involved of uh, getting everything ready to go. Uh, as you see, it's not just uh, backing into the property and turning the key and starting drilling. Uh, so hang, hang on here with us. I'll have, I'll have a, a few comments about, about things. Uh, as I'm setting up. You know what, though? I don't care if it's set up like this. Okay, so uh, not a whole lot special going on here. Uh, have our nice lightweight jack box. Uh, one of these days we're going to figure out how to make things lighter, but uh, somebody can help me out and let me know how to do that. Uh, these go these go under the outrigger so we don't mash a big crater in the ground and to also help uh, distribute the load being put on the ground. Normally it's about three blocks or so on each side. Okay, uh, see the long pipe? Uh, this is, again, getting it unbuckled, ready to come off the truck. This is well casing. Uh, we've done some previous videos I hope so too. Uh, about, about well casing. Uh, yeah, if you, we need a good if you want to find out a little bit more detail about well casing and what it is and what its purpose is for, uh, you can see the link to the, to the video I above. I wasn't going to ask. Uh, so I'm dragging, I'm dragging one piece of well casing off here. Uh, this this will actually be used as our pipe that hooks onto the a diverter, uh, which is the big red thing right up at the top of the video there. Uh, this is what all the rock cuttings go through. Uh, lowering the access platforms down uh, that that the workers sit on stand on. I'll talk a little bit more about these in detail uh, later on in the video. It doesn't get any better than a setup like this. Uh, walking back over to the truck yet yeah, once again, uh, grabbing grabbing some of the water hoses to hook to the water truck. Uh, not all locations where we drill. Uh, permit the water truck to be located uh, directly to the side of the drill rig. So with some places we have to park the, the, the water truck in front of the drill rig. Uh, we do have a, I'd say around 50 or 60 feet of water hose. So we don't have to be uh, right next to the drill rig. But as you can see, water does have to come from this truck to the rig. Uh, again, this is an ideal setup here. We're able to get right beside it. Uh, so this, this wasn't a concern here, but other locations, we just have to drag more hose out. This particular job, we had to put a, a sharpened bit and a new driver chuck on the, on our hammer that we run. Uh, we've done a, we've done a video about drill bits and, and what they are and what their purpose is. I'm uh, not going to go into detail about that here. If you want to see more detail about that, you can you can click on this video shown in the screen. Uh, so I'm just bringing this bringing this bit over to the back, so where when we change it later on on this job, we'll, we would have access to it. Uh, 
Uh, and as you can see, while I'm doing stuff, uh, Josh is uh, constantly doing stuff that needs to be done as well. So there's a there's a lot that's going on here. Uh, grabbing a small little uh, stand for the diverter pipe to sit on when we actually get the derrick up and hook it on. Uh, this pipe will be up in the air, so it needs a a support to stand on, getting it nearby. Okay, so we're back to the vineyard again, uh, getting ready to getting ready to raise the derrick up and uh, hook everything up to get started. Uh, one of the most common uh, issues we find when setting up to drill a new well is people will dig out a dirt bank and say, "Can I get the well as far back on this bank as I can get it?" And the question and the answer is no. And the reason why is if you see where this outrigger is is going down on the jack box, that is about where the well will be when it's finished, straight in line with the drill rig. So you can see from that outrigger back to behind where I'm standing, where the platform is, is probably another six or seven feet. Biggest issue we have with the drill rigs being set up is raising the derrick. As you can see at the top, there are a lot of hoses up there on top for a lot of hydraulic cylinders. And the most common issue we have is raising this derrick up and, and uh, raising up into tree limbs that the customer thinks are in the way or clear, but they aren't clear. And we almost always hit them when the derrick gets to the highest point and it's a very common practice for us to actually for a tree limb to yank a hydraulic hose off and start spraying oil everywhere which is obviously not a desirable situation for us or the customer so the, the number one issue I try to tell customers all the time is we can't have tree limbs in the way of the derrick when it's raised or in the swing path of the derrick as it's being raised Generally, if, if the swing path of the derrick and the top of the derrick is, is clear of tree limbs, this is going to give us enough room to be able to operate however we need to operate. Uh, so here we're putting on the, a diverter pipe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to secure it to the rig. And again, coming out of the end of the pipe that Josh is holding up with his right hand. Uh, this is where all the rock cuttings will be uh, distributed. Uh, this pipe can be rotated on a uh, about 190 degree radius. Uh, we can we can actually get it up under these platforms if we need to. Uh, some, sometimes that's needed. Uh, we can do that. Um, Uh, just kind of looking at some things down down below the, the grade a little bit. Again, uh, a big a big factor on determining how much mess is going to be at a site is going to determine the grade of the property. Uh, ultimately, we can't stop gravity. Uh, the rock cuttings are going to go where they're going to go. We can just direct them to the best possible location to make the minimal, minimal mess possible. Okay, so we've got the pipe hooked on here, getting ready to get started. Uh, one last thing I want to show you is, again, this big, large stabilizer bit. Uh, the crane runs off the top of the derrick, and this bit has to be lowered as well as casing being raised in this same path. Uh, so no tree limbs can be in the path of this, uh, so, there's, so there's not any interference. While we're, while we're working, raising or lowering casing or lowering drill bits.